It's a pleasure to have with us here Zakir Mahmood, President and CEO of the Habib Bank. Thanks so much, Mr. Mahmood, for being with us here. Mm -hmm. What's the sense you're picking up here in Davos at the World Economic Forum? It's almost come to a close now. What's the outlook looking like for 2012? A lot of concern uh, because of the global uh, economic and uh, financial crisis, particularly the Eurozone crisis. So there is, uh, uh, I think, almost a consensus view that 2012 is going to be a very challenging year, right. perhaps spilling over also into 2013. Right. Um, the immediate crisis in terms of the euro, however, seems to have uh, abated somewhat. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is a concern on, on growth in the developed markets and how the global economy uh, will uh, will progress. But can we safely say, at least in the post-global uh, uh, crisis scenario, that it, the worst is now behind us, we will head towards better times, or do you think uh, we're still uncertain about the way the crisis will pan out? I think it's very difficult to say that the crisis is uh, behind us. Uh, there's just too much uncertainty. Mm -hmm. The developed world is, uh, is going through a, a fairly... Uh, difficult adjustment process. Right. On the other hand, the emerging markets uh, uh, are doing much better, and they seem to be, um, uh, and and they are being looked at also as possible saviors, as engines of growth to keep to pull the global economy uh, along. The emerging economies clearly engines of growth, and the growth rates are extremely fascinating, especially if you compare uh, compare the growth rates to the rest of the world. At the same time, the emerging economies also facing their own share of problems: inflation, high interest rates, uh, all of those issues. How badly do you think that would impact the crisis? And also, it seemed perhaps in 2008 that they were weathering the storm better than what the, it seems right now. Well, there, there's a uh, perhaps too much expectation being built in. On uh, and hope on the uh, on the uh, emerging economies uh, dragging or pulling the global economy forward because um, decoupling is something which has uh, become a fashionable word. Good, right. uh, but I think what we've also seen that decoupling is only to an extent. The world is too interconnected. Mm -hmm. The economies are too interconnected, and what happens uh, in the developed markets, Europe and North America, uh, have a direct impact. Mm -hmm. on uh, on the emerging markets too. Uh, the emerging markets are major exporters. Much of their, uh, uh, of the growth is predicated on exports. And still, uh, some of the major markets are, uh, are North America and Europe and the developed markets. So uh, I think um, what we are going to see is, uh, is certainly uncertainty. In the emerging markets, absolutely there are challenges. Inflation has been an issue. In many countries, we've seen central banks trying to combat through that through uh, uh, through tighter monetary policy. Right. Um, and uh, it's I think they have their own particular challenges in terms of uh, of balancing growth and and inflation. No, so uh, they have uh, many challenges. Right. At least even in India, the entire inflation management done by our central bank came under sharp criticism. The central bank had to hike rates as many as 13 times uh, to bring inflation under control. We're now seeing, hopefully, that the cycle will reverse. But your thoughts on whether uh, economies are relying too much uh, on the central bank to tame inflation? Uh, well, in, in any uh, economy, uh, you need to have fiscal and monetary policy work in tandem. Together. And um, uh, and the burden, uh, generally in terms of combating inflation, fighting that is falls on monetary policy. Right. Uh, but monetary policy on its own cannot uh, uh, do everything. So I I think both sides of uh, of, of the equation have to work together. And uh, what has been happening in in other in many parts of the world, you mentioned India, of a tight monetary policy. I think we're seeing that elsewhere also. And s many central banks are taking preemptive action mm -hmm. because they do not want to have inflation, um, uh, you know, get to an extent where it becomes much harder to then tame. Right, Davos is always a place where you you pick up a sense of what's expected in the year uh, to come. Uh, do you think policymakers here have managed to instill some sort of confidence that the situation is not as bad as one had feared? Uh, I, I think it, it, the, the more immediate crisis that we've seen in the last a year or so has been uh, the eurozone crisis um, there there are uh, uh, many views on on that 
but certainly uh, there seems to be a sense this time around that the uh, that Germany and France uh, and uh, the major economies of Europe uh, have taken a some some serious measures uh, where they will be um, you know hopefully that this crisis is going to become much more manageable and and as the months uh, in the weeks and months ahead uh, there'll be uh, much greater stability in the eurozone area there are other views that also that this may not be the case but um, i think we are seeing in the international markets also a reflection that that the euro is also stable now Right, everyone is hoping that there will be stability going forward and the world economy will be back on its feet. Uh, many thanks, sir, for joining us and sharing your thoughts. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com/apps.